Hi everyone, my name is Mateus, and today we're going to talk about video games. Blizzard has unveiled the next hero to join its lineup, the leader of Null Sector, Ramatra. As teased in the lore, Ramatra is the leader of the organization Null Sector. Like Zenyatta, Ramatra is a shambly monk who no longer sees the option of peacefully advocating for the rights of Omnix, and has now taken a more pragmatic angle, according to the Overwatch blog announcing his reveal. Originally a war machine, Ramatra shed his munitions for a shield to protect his people by promoting peace and tranquility, Blizzard writes. However, Ramatra's story is one of hardships, trauma, and a magnified view of humanity's harsh realities. While Blizzard has only shared a cinematic trailer showcasing Ramatra's backstory and origins, IGN was part of a media roundtable with Overwatch 2 hero designer Alec Dawson who revealed Ramatra will have two forms players can switch between. He does have two forms. He has an Omnic form and his Nemesis form. Part of the skill we're testing is when to switch between those forms. Because the Omnic form, you're playing this poke game, you're protecting your team, a little bit at range. And then the Nemesis form you're rushing down the enemies, you're charging in there and you have these punches. Ramatra will be the fourth new hero introduced since the launch of Overwatch 2 along with Sojourn, Junker Queen, and Kiriko. According to Blizzard, the team wants to release either a new map or hero in alternating seasons. As rumored, the a trio of famous footballers are heading to Call of Duty. Activision officially announced that Paul Pogba, Neymar Jr., and Lionel Messi are suiting up for Modern Warfare 2, Warzone 2.0, and Call of Duty Mobile. This presumably means they will be playable characters in those titles. Activision announced this with some teaser art showing each athlete's locker, but instead of cleats and a jersey, we see military gear, and also soccer balls. The Men's World Cup begins this month in November, and all three are competing. Neymar Jr. for Brazil, Pogba for France, and Messi for Argentina. The Pogba and Neymar Jr. operators for Call of Duty already leaked, but we've yet to see what Messi's character looks like. There is no word yet on pricing or a release date for the new footballers in Call of Duty. Modern Warfare 2 developer Infinity Ward has acknowledged confusion about an in-game store exclusive reward for players that picked up the Vault Edition. In a statement shared across its social media channels, the developer said that because of said confusion, it has decided to reward all Vault Edition owners, current and prospective. 10 hours of double XP tokens and 10 hours of double weapon XP tokens. We understand there has been some confusion about an in-game store exclusive award for the Vault Edition, the statement reads. Therefore, we've decided to reward all players that currently own or purchase any version of the MW of Vault Edition with 10 hours of double XP tokens and 10 hours of double weapon XP tokens. Current owners who have not already received the tokens should expect to see them in their account over the next 48 hours, the message concludes. Halo Infinite will include support for PC ray tracing in March 2023. The announcement was made during yesterday's AMD presence together we advance underscore gaming live stream, in which the next generation of AMD GPUs was revealed. The news was dropped by Scott Herkelman. Senior Vice President and General Manager of AMD's Graphics Business Unit. Halo Infinite will support ray-traced shadows across arena and big team battle modes, Herkelman said. Those with one of the newly announced RX 7000 series GPUs can also expect to see improved lighting, sharper shadows, and increased performance with ray tracing acceleration. Herkelman stated DirectX Ray Tracing DXR, will be available as part of Halo Infinite Season 3 update. Season 3 was notably delayed in September to March 2023, with developer 343 Industries releasing a winter update for the game next week on November 8 to tide players over. Herkelman also announced technical partnerships with upcoming releases The Callisto Protocol and Forspoken, 
and the next generation of Ubisoft's Snowdrop engine, which is currently powering Mario plus Rabid Sparks of Hope. It looks like Ubisoft's games could be coming back to the Steam platform after several years of being off of it. One such game could be Assassin's Creed Valhalla. A GitHub user by the name of Ubiri discovered that the source code for the Assassin's Creed Valhalla Ubisoft Connect page has been recently updated and now contains the word, Steam. Specifically, it reads, Internal Dev slash QC, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Steam. In a statement to Insider Gaming, Ubisoft said, We don't comment on rumors and speculation. Ubisoft's last Steam release was Trials Rising back on February 26, 2019, nearly four years ago. Interestingly, the upcoming Assassin's Creed Mirage is listed for a PC release, but it only has an Epic Game Store page and not a Steam one. It's possible that Ubisoft is continuing its relationship with Epic Games and Steam. That's all the news for today, Saturday, November 5, 2022. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. The links to all the subjects discussed in this video are available in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.